Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So welcome to part two of my craft buddy crystal art kitting down. And I thought I might as well do the kitting down of the special drills from this craft buddy kit as well that I did. Um, if you saw my part one, um, I was kitting down my craft buddy Peter Rabbit Christmas wreath and my Disney Princess Christmas wreath, uh, all from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. We managed to get done all of the normal resin drills and I just had a few of the special drills left over to do. But because I'd witted for so long and the video was so long, um, I thought I'd better split it into two. Uh, for whatever reason, my uh, editing software doesn't seem to like anything that's over sort of an hour. And when I upload to uh, YouTube, it tends to not like videos that are over just well just slightly over an hour so oh, i'll cut it a little bit short so i do apologize so anyway you've got a part two now so to make it a bit more interesting <laughs> i thought i'd do a quick review on this one uh, again it's one that i bought this christmas it was new this christmas um it's got one of my favorite birds which is the robin which is so sweet and gorgeous we've got some poncetia flowers we've got holly and then we've got all this gorgeous basket effect I do think Craft Buddy, the charting um, on the whole is really, really good. And certainly for baskets, I know the, it's an Easter basket I got on a different flower basket earlier last year. And it just is so clever the way they do it with the shading and the light and the dark. You just really do look as though you're looking at a basket until you get close up. So yeah, uh, very, very impressed with this. Um, it is an acrylic one but it's the white background ones so rather than the uh, key code all the letters and numbers being on the bottom here so that uh, it's sort of you're looking at it through the perspex through the acrylic the letters and numbers are actually on the top so it's easier to get them in the right place and when you tip it up you're not looking through it albeit this is practically full drill uh, Special drills do tend to be classed as partials because your lines aren't all completely uh, parallel and you do get sort of like little gaps. But on the whole, this is just nearly a full coverage of the whole of this canvas. And it's just so pretty. And those little presents stuck in the basket and the robins just come to have a look. So, yeah, and this one did come with a chain as well. Uh, slightly disappointed that it's just sort of a plain chain, just like a curb chain there. Um, I do like the other ones that I've got that are a little bit more of a fancy chain, but I suppose you're not really doing it for the chain. Um, and to be fair, I'm not sure that I would really hang it up anyway. I think it's quite possibly going to be put up with command strips. Obviously not this year. Uh, it will now be next Christmas. So, yay! enjoyed doing it and again it's another one that I thought right with the Peter Rabbit and with the princess I've got them out I've got them ready to do so I'm going to do them before I put them away for next year which uh, yeah that's uh, one less thing to do next year <laughs> so there will be two more wreaths and at least another basket added to all the decorations I had last year okay very pretty though uh, I wasn't keen on these um, like rings either they're like the jump rings that are doubled over that you have to open um, with sort of like the force of uh, a key and broken fingernails and even an elephant's trying to, <laughs> to get them through that thick bit of plastic there. Oh my goodness me. Please craft buddy, do chains with lobster claw clasps because they are so much easier to use. I know it may add a couple of pounds or a pound to the um, price of it, but I even give us the choice but yeah I certainly uh, didn't enjoy putting those on it was quite a struggle <laughs> so again it came with your little uh, like inventory sheet with all your different keys on it there and um, it does show you your picture of uh, what the picture looks like when it's completed and what's drilled and as you can see there's hardly any difference in those at all uh, it's practically a full drill gorgeous absolutely love it it is still available on the craft buddy crystal art website as well so pop along and have a look uh, and what have we got we've got one two we've so we've got two y's which are the large round drills, the special drills. And then we've got one, two, three, four crystals. Uh, now then, this one just came again, uh, as with the Peter Rabbit wreath, 
it only came with normal white resin drills and I substituted them out for AB. The uh, Aurora Borealis coated, the iridescent coating on the white because I just wanted a little bit more fancy. But this one has got enough bling for me. Um, it's got the gold on the bells. Now it's got the red. Um, sorry, the red. I'm looking at the bow. <laughs> it's got the... Um, little uh white ab crystals there the resin drills with the coating on and then it's got a mixture of resin drills and your uh, crystal gems in between all the different leaves and your stars and everything so i did quite like this one i don't think i would particularly bling it up anymore there might have been an odd one but on the whole i did like it and i love the fact that we've got like this aqua greeny blue color for the leaves in the background just to offset this green and a little bit of it down here otherwise it would have just been very very green you know i say that craft buddy on the whole are really good at charting things so yeah i do like that and we've got sort of an orangey robin i do prefer red robins but that uh, does look like a robin you know you don't look at it and think why is that our robin funny colors <laughs> but he's lovely so yeah enjoyed doing that one and it's 12 inch by 12 inch 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters i have got uh, the unboxing of it in my playlists if you do go to the craft buddy playlists and have a look as well so we're just going to put away the crystals and uh, the special drills and then i've got the special drills to put away from this one as well uh, sorry from these two as well uh, i won't go through the uh, resin drills as well on this one because uh, it'll just end up being another marathon video and uh, yeah i don't want to put you off sleep <laughs> Okay, so let me grab my box with my crystals in. So I now have, oops, now then, have I got enough room on my desk was the cry. Let's see, let's see. So let's take these out of here. Uh, yeah, I did use um, on this one to kit it up. I decided to use, it's my A4 size uh, storage box with the lid and i got from aliexpress last year this piece of foam with all the holes already cut into it with uh, space for the round uh, tubs and also for the uh, like tic tac boxes as well so i was hoping it was going to fit into one of my storage cases with the lid that shut but unfortunately it didn't and then I did discover that it does fit in here. So again, it's just a, another way of making storage. If you've got a lot of these spare bottles that you don't use, you can buy them separately. Or if you've maybe broken uh, one of your containers, I know some of the like cases that you get, uh, not the material ones, but the plasticky ones, the handles can go on them. Or if you drop them, the, they can quite easily crack sometimes. So yeah, I ended up with a lot of Tic Tac boxes left over. Um, so yeah, I thought I will uh, make use of this. And I think this is quite good because you've got like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty. 16, 24, 30. You've got your 40 Tic Tac boxes and you've got, is that 30 and 30 of your little round? So if you've got uh, one that's 70 colours and maybe not too many colours of each, then you could put your smaller amounts in these, uh, the Tic Tac boxes and your bigger amounts in your little round ones. So it just gives you a mixture of uh, different ones to use. And I quite like that. So I do like experimenting with all my storage and I have got a video of all the different types of storage and how much each one of the containers holds. So if you check my playlist for that, um, that is in my playlist list as well. Too many playlists and lists there, Liz, but never mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to take out the ones I want to use. So let's use to put away. Uh, so we want the Ys. Oh, that one's empty. So there can't have been any extras in that one. What was that one then? That must have been. Was that the large ones? Let me have a look. The Y170, yeah, I think that was the large reds. And I didn't end up with any spares of that one. So, yeah, um, 
or I thought I already put them away. No, I didn't end up with any spares. It was the exact number. So, ooh, I do like my spares, but never mind. At least uh, I ain't having to look for anywhere to put those. So we can take that label off that one straight away. Oh, look, every time I do this now, I'm getting a little bit of extra stuck on the end there. It's doing it just to annoy me. And it's working. <laughs> And then A150. Oh, so what was 170 then? Oh, was 170, was that a spare that we didn't have? Because I've got quite... Let me just investigate this. Do you know, I can't remember what happened last week, let alone the week between Christmas and New Year. It was just completely mad. Um, no, we did only have... Is that two... Oh, no, it is two sides. Do you know, my brain, I can't... Yeah, there is two sizes. There's some small red rounds and some slightly larger red rounds. So we've got the slightly larger ones. So, oh, there's some extras in, escaped into there. So we have just got those to put away there. So that one's into the special specials and the actual just um, crystal gems. So we had a, which starts... Have a look which way around did I do these? So we had A, yep, yeah, that's a crystal. B, that's a crystal. C, that's a crystal. And T, yep, yeah, that's a crystal as well. So we had those four crystal colours. All of the others are just your resin gems. They are resin from Craft Buddy, they are the better quality drills that you do get from there. Okay, so I shall put those away off camera because, uh, as I say, I don't want you falling asleep, but I will be doing other kitting downs and chats and everything as well. And we'll be getting back to normal. Um, normal service will be resumed. <laughs> now Christmas is over. Right, so I've got those four to put in here. Uh, fortunately, because um, I, what I did again was copy this. I know you can use these, but I like to keep these to put in my log book. So I copied this and put the uh, little uh, letters and numbers and the code number onto the top of the pots. So I know where they need to go because I've got the numbers on the pots. Yay! I do get some things right sometimes. <laughs> so let's have a look at these. So that's an AB white there. Uh, we've got a standard crystal uh, in red and on Craft Buddy, the standard crystals start with a YO or a Y if it's a higher number than 078, sort of Y101, Y666, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so you always know what the crystals are because they start with a Y. And then that one is a slightly... Oh, no, it's not. I thought that was a slightly larger size, but... That is a slightly larger size. Yeah. Okay, I shall put that to one side. That's not good. And then, oh, this one's empty as well. Um, so what was B? Let me have a look. B was Y154. And we only got seven of them. Oh, no, there is one in there. Do you know? <laughs> Shall I just stop this video and start again? Sorry, I am starting with a cold. I just didn't want to get out of bed this morning. But anyway, I did. I've got washing and things to do. Uh, yeah, we have got one left. So, yeah. No, the Ys are the large rounds. It's the ones that start with a zero at the front. I'll just have a, a number less than 154. Why have they put that as Y78 then? Oh, dear. Right, we'll have to investigate that one further. So they are okay. So let's have a look at the ones now from um, Peter Rabbit. No, not Peter Rabbit, from the Disney Princesses. This should be okay because these are older ones. So let's put these in order. Do you know, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put the light on. Uh, much as I hate to do it because it was nice, natural light. It's gone very, very dark. Sorry, we will get a little bit of shadow now, unfortunately. I'll try and keep my head out of the way. <laughs> easier said than done so let's see if we can put these in order so we've got a, a 16 um take these out there will be sense in my madness honest honest uh, and oops oh that one hasn't got oh it has it's got one in it wow obviously obviously the spares uh, quite quite so many spares this time let's just uh, move these around and we'll put them in order Oh, I could do these more than one at a time. What are you faffing about at, Liz? 
you know, while um, I was I went off um, to go make a drink and soothe my throat a little bit, as I say, I'm getting a cold. Oh, get your little mini violins out for me. <laughs> um, I went and I thought, oh, see if my washing machine's finished. I know, maybe a bit boring, but never mind. And that flipping thing is tormenting me. So not only have I had a hoover to clean out recently, um, ooh, yeah, and clean out, ooh, sort of nori, a vax. No, it's a Dyson vacuum cleaner I've got. What did I say? Did I say vax? No, it's a Dyson that I've got. Oh, goodness me, don't even know where I am. Who am I? What am I doing? <laughs> uh, now the washing machine is taunting me because it was on a spin cycle and I thought, oh, that's good, it'll finish in a minute. Um, and we have our washing machine out in the garage. It's The garage is attached to the house, so it just gives me a bit more room in my kitchen for Hubby in his wheelchair and everything. And uh, I'm just going to put these in uh, numerical order while I'm wittering on. And uh, yes, yeah, so I thought, oh, I'll just stand here and uh, wait for it to finish. Well, it was doing that thing, you know, where it sort of like spins really fast and then it stops and then it does a little bit of a spin and it stops and you think, ha, the door's going to open now. No, it then went back the other way and stopped and then I thought it's finished now and it went back the other way and it stopped and I thought come on you must have finished now and then it went nope I haven't finished now and it carried on spinning another way and I thought you are just tormenting me uh yeah so even the uh washing machine is laughing me at the, at the moment <laughs> what sort of a sad life do I lead that the washing machine is taunting me <laughs> Right, anyway, okay, so this is the AB white, so that goes separately in my AB drills. Then this one is a YO, and uh, that is a large round, so yeah, that's correct. So I'm just a bit worried about that one being YO78, when it looks like a standard size to me. Anyway, uh, that one is 141, so they go in my other box now. Oh, and it had one of those pink ones left as well. And then the M ones, anything that starts with an M is a marquee. So I've got one, two, three, four marquees there as well. Uh, for some reason, the teardrops don't start with a T. I think they start with an S. So I'm not quite sure why that is, but anyway. Right, so I can put these gems away now. Okay, keep my little key codes there to put in there. Right, so. What I've actually done, if you uh, saw my uh, video, oh gosh, when was it? When was it? Fifth? Where are we today? Do you know? My brain's gone. Um, I think it was, I don't know. I'll put a link down below. <laughs> but it was my uh, kitting down of my full crystal uh, cool deals canvas. Uh, I showed you how I've now set up my box for my crystals. So the same as my resin drills and my acrylic drills, I now have a little bag with a number on it for every single DMC code colour that I've got, which is the 447. So some of the bags are empty. So as I'm doing houses now that have got crystals in, I'm checking to see if the crystals are actually DMC codes or not. Some are quite obvious um, that they are. These are slipping underneath, look, because there's nothing in them. And some aren't. So now, the same as with my other kitten downs, if I get a crystal with a DMC code, I've got a little bag that I can just put them in. Yay! And then that also means if I'm doing a canvas and say I've got something that is similar to this and uh, i'm going along and it is just all say leaves and i think i think that would look quite nice if the leaves were wearing crystal i can then have a look at the number of the resin drill that i've got and go to my box and see whether i've got any crystals in it or not ah i do come up with some reasonable ideas sometimes only sometimes <laughs> right so this one is uh, the craft buddy ones now the craft buddy have their own numbering system for their crystals at some point in the future i will merge my craft buddy crystals into my normal crystals but as things stand at the moment because i started off the craft buddy crystals with numbers on first before i started doing this i'm keeping them separate because it would be too big a job at the moment to merge those into those to work them out as dmc codes so i'm sticking as i kit down a craft buddy kit 
with crystals in and stick into the craft buddy uh, number and system on them. That is as long as they haven't started messing about with them and changing them out. So yeah, watch this space, we'll have to see. So number 16 should be this nice goldy colour. And yes, it is. So there you are, you see, we actually have this colour. I hope you can see this and I do apologise for the shadows. Um, I've tried that ring light that I've got and unfortunately I just end up with like a ring of light and I've tried putting it further away and it doesn't make any difference. So I do at some point need to sort out my lighting. Uh, if anybody's got any tips, if anybody does have a YouTube channel and has any tips for me, let me know. <laughs> Other than don't make videos, Liz, I'd, I'd rather not <laughs> get that. Um, I do get uh, the odd uh, thumbs down on my videos from time to time, which is fine. I think uh, that just makes me feel like I'm a proper YouTuber. <laughs> oh, dear. Okie dokie. Right, so number 25 is this nice limey green colour. And is that on number 25? No, that's number 26. So that's the good thing. When you actually have some of the colour in the bag, it does make life easier because you can sort of like look and think, well, is this the right colour? Uh, you know, if this, if I'd taken this bag out and it was pink and I was trying to put a green in it, then I'd have to look at my colour a little bit closer and think, well, what am I doing here? But, uh, nothing new then was the reply. So, yeah. Anyway, my washing did eventually finish. My washer did eventually finish and I did get the washing out. Ha, got you in the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting sad like that. I've started talking to the appliances. Oh, dear. <laughs> Trouble is, as I say, they taunt you and answer back. And, uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay. All right, so 26, oops, yeah, they seem to be all the green ones. The only trouble is with doing this is the fact that I would have to look through all of them to find the colour, which isn't good. So I'm going to have to do a chart maybe with all the colours on. Oh, it just gets more and more complicated. Uh, and at the moment, as I'm doing these things, I just think all I want to do is go and diamond paint. I've got some fantastic special drill projects that I'm wanting to get on with at the minute because it is smashing the specials. And uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I did get a message uh, on my last video from Mike. Um, I'll put uh, his YouTube channel across the front if you want to go and check it. And he said he's quite liking doing specials as well because she seems to get a lot more done. Uh, yeah, there's a lot less um, drills on them, but it depends what you're wanting to do with them. Um, and some people don't like the bling. I love bling, but I don't particularly want bling all over my house. The bigger canvases that I've got to use as like a, a painting picture um, style item on my walls in my like living room, my main rooms, um, they will be full drill because they're more like a painting. So I don't particularly want them blingy, but I don't mind them um, everywhere else. I mean, my craft room's full of Scotty Dog pictures at the minute, but it will have blingy ones on it as well. <laughs> right, is that one number 20? Oh no, that's 97. Wow, that's a, a lot higher number. And we will have a look at that one, which is number 78. And see if they've just put the Y on it by mistake. I hope they have. And then I have got all the Christmas card ones to uh, kit down as well. But I think I'll have to do those off camera because there is just so many that I think I'm just going to have to do so many at once. Right, so I'm looking for number 97 first because we know that that one is there. Okay. I mean, you don't have to do this with your crystals. You don't even have to keep them. Gosh, that was a different colour. Wow, I wish I'd looked at that before I put those in there. Yeah, that's definitely 97. And is that definitely... Yeah, it's definitely yeah, 97. Oh dear, it wasn't on that one, was it? Where was it? Yeah, it's there. It's on the princess, so it's an older one as well. Um, so, gosh, that's so much a different colour. Oh, I'm miffed now. I wish I'd not put those in there. I would have put them in a different one. Never mind, I've done it now. I'll just have to leave it as it is. Oh dear. Silly Liz. Come and be slapped. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay. So, 
so let's have a look at that 78 then so it's 78 a red mm, it is so i wonder if the oh no it's not it's a bronze oh dear okay so what do i do with this one now do i just put a different number on it i've got a piece of uh, sticky up my nail now Ugh. right so do, what do i do with that one i'll just keep that one on one side for now and we'll think about that one in a second hmm that makes life a little bit awkward so we've more or less finished with that one now so i'll just move that case out of the way and i'll get my other box which is the exciting box This box has all the special shape drills in it and I love this box. Yay! <laughs> and would you like to see the special drills that I've got to put away? Oh wow, these are what's left over uh, from a lot of my Christmas pictures. Uh, and these are all ones that were no key codes on them, no different little numbering system or anything. Uh, and they were all different for different manufacturers. So, yeah, I've got all these to put away as well at some point. Oh, dear. I may do some of them today. I may uh, leave some for later. We'll see how we get on. So, we have numbers to do on these. Um, let's have a look. So, that one is a marquee. That one is a marquee. That one is a large round that one's marquee that one's a marquee and are all these yeah these are all y's why 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 so i can do those i may do the y rounds and have a look um and just do those while i'm doing this but we'll see so we've got a 107 we've got 150 154 that one is a 106 159 and 141 we may need some uh, new bags as well i may not have these so let me grab some stickers okay these are my standard round stickers from rebecca admore zest uh, check out her website and youtube channel for further details just put my fold that away so yeah i'm i'll be using these these are just these standard around ones because i like to keep them posh shall we say <laughs> just got a few that i've got left over from an empty sheet that i had so i thought i uh, will just cut those out rather than having lots of bulk yeah i've been having quite a sort out okay so the round ones the large rounds are at the back and again they're all numbered so hopefully each one of these i will have in the craft buddy side so we have y 106 107 so let's see if we have any of those 106 we do have so they can go in that bag i do like it when you've already got the bag and you can just put them in it just makes life that a little bit easier and 107 is the next one well we've got that one out so that's your red sorry that's really really dark isn't it i'm trying to keep in the light so that you can see a bit what i'm doing oh dear okay 106 107 so i can get rid of the stickers off those come on come off in a little thing yay we did it okay and that one i've just put another load of washing on and i'm trying to listen out for it to start um spinning again but i'm not going to go and stand and watch it uh, i am just going to wait and wait and wait <laughs> oh dear it was really funny as well because uh, millie came into the garage with me and she stood there next to me and she's uh, just stood there and she's looking at me she's like, what are we waiting for why are we just stood in here are we gonna play i've had a good sniff round and nothing's changed so Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. That's uh, the little woofs opposite have just come back. Um, they come back each day and they like to have a good woof to say, hello, we're home. 
and uh, Millie fortunately is downstairs with her dad so she's uh, ooh, oh no that's one two one I was going to say that's completely the wrong colour uh, yeah she likes to just answer them and say hello welcome back so we have a bit of a dog woof off uh, usually around about this time every day <laughs> they are very very cute okay and we've got number 150 as well that's really good we do like this okay and then where are we 154 let me take these off first you'd think these would come off a little bit easier because they've not been on very long probably only about a week and a bit but anyway Oh, that lid done. That must be a different pot. <gasps> yeah, I've slightly got different size pots. Uh, you tend to find that some of these pots, some of them are a little bit fatter and shorter, and some of them are a little bit thinner and uh, longer. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Okay, so 154 and 159. So, oh, what number's that? That's 156. So we haven't got these, so I need two new little bags and two new little labels. Okay, make sure I've got them the right way around. So we have Y, oops, 159 and Y154. Oh, oh, my writing doesn't get any better, does it? Never mind. Okay, so 154, we've just got one lonely little gem to go in there, and 159, put the label on firstly so that makes it that little bit easier, okay, and just one pink gem, it's like a bubblegum pink that one with an iridescent coating but I do like it, so we've got 152, 154, 156 and 159. So that's all the large rounds done there. Let's get these labels off here. Okay. Oops, that's that one. Get the right lids on the right one. Okay, so that's those. And now we've just got the marquees to put away. So let's put these in number order again. So we've got a M52, <laughs> an M58, 44 and 15. So we want 15 first. So we're looking in the M's, the M's, M15. Okay, M15. Yep, yeah, we've got some of those. So... Let's uh, just pop those in there and let's just take that little, oh, it's a square. Oh, how strange. We've got a square uh, sort of turquoisey one that's popped in with those. So let's see, can I pick it up? Just, just was the cry. And then why I've just put them back in there instead of the bag, don't ask me. I tell you, I just, uh, the brain would be dangerous. And I'm not quite sure why the MY has ended up there either. Because there is a, a card, I think, for an MY. Yeah, it goes there. Okay. So that's that one. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so we're getting these done now. So we want 44. Four. So have we got a 44? Let's have a look. No, we've got a 49. Have we got a 52 and a... Is that 58 or is that 56? And that's a 58. So it goes 43, 49, 56. No, they're tiny, aren't they? 57, 59. We have got a 50. No, I said 58, didn't I? Yeah, that's 58. So, oh, we need some more new ones. So we need three new ones. Right, two, one, two, three. Okay. So we need M44. M52. 
and M056. Okay. Ah, now then, I know what I haven't done, which I should have done, because it's such a while since I've kitted down. I haven't checked this side to see if I've got any of these. Oh, dear. <laughs> so I've still got my code numbers so I can go back and have a look, but I need to look to see whether I've got any of these in this side. Okay, so I need to be looking. M oh, I've picked up that's M44. Put them in, there in the wrong order now. So M44 is a small gold. But they've all turned the wrong way. Everything's out to get me today. Uh, <laughs> don't be kidding. So, uh, M44 is little gold marquee. So at this side, what I've done is so I can find things a little bit easier. I've got them all in colour order. So like white, gold, silver, blue, green, pink and, and all those colours. Uh, and then I've categorised them into um, different shapes round, so larger than your standard round, your standard crystal. So I've got rounds, I've then got marquees, I've got teardrops, and then I've got miscellaneous, which is stars, flowers, and all things like that. So I need to look in my gold ones. So I start off with silver, and then I believe it goes to gold. And then I need to be looking in marquees. So let me get my gold marquees out. So why is that one there? Uh, oh no, these are round. All right, so let me oops, get my marquees. So I've got my, and it's spelt correct. Oh, let me just pull this forward. There you are, you can't see that, can you? Uh, that is just spelt correctly as well. I had to spell check it. I wasn't quite sure how to spell marquee. <laughs> it's not a word I use particularly, uh, other than like a big tent, but that's a whole different story. So I am looking for this colour, which is like a very pale gold without any coating on. Uh, no, that's more of a shot of a shirt, a yellowy gold. Okay, that one's a sort of similar colour, but it's sparkly, so it's not that one. They're very ambery colour, so let me just put those away. Okay. Uh, oh, they look like they've got two different colours in. They're all too big, so it's definitely not those. And that's the sort of correct colour, but that's a lot bigger. And they're a different colour. So no, I haven't got any of those. What I'm hoping to do eventually, depending on whether Craft Buddy changed their system or not, is that all of these at this side will have a Craft Buddy number. So if I want um, some little gold marquees, I'll have like a card with a little gold marquee on it. And then I'll just go and look for M44. And I won't need to look in this side because there won't be any here. They'll all have a number on. That's my theory. Whether it will actually work out and how many years it's going to take me to do this, I don't know. But that's what I'm intending to do at the moment. Right, so now I've got a blue number 52. So it's easier to see the colour actually in the bag. Um, it is for me anyway. You may find that sometimes if you put them into your tray, it may be easier to sort of compare um, having them in a tray and putting them side by side. Just don't put too many and mix them up because, yeah, I've done that before as well. And then I had to sit and pick them all. <laughs> oh, dear. I sometimes think um, my channel should be called Lizzie's How Not to Diamond Paint 101. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking for blue. And I know I have blue at this side somewhere. So that's green. So is blue before green? No, we've got purple. So then is it green? Um, the little black cards uh, separate the different colours. Eventually, they will be the little chunky cards with the name on. But at the moment, it's just a piece of black card until I get that job done. Do you get the impression I've got far too many jobs to do? But I've got plenty of time. I've got plenty of time. Yay! So now then, this could be uh, good. So, no, it's not that one because they've got a coating on. Is it that one? Uh, oh, that's sad. They're too small. They're completely different now. Oh, don't go in there. Oh, look, Liz, stop it. 
Stop it, stop it, stop it. What am I doing? Put them back over there for now. Right, let me just compare these. Are these the same one? Because if they are, ooh, I do believe they are. By Jove, I think we've got it. <laughs> I think they're as near colour as we are going to get, yes. What do you think? Oh, I don't know though. I don't know. Are they darker? Are they darker? That's the trouble now because I've put the light on. We've not got the natural light, light anymore. Uh, mm, turn them over that way sometimes. Looking at the other side, maybe it's just at me. Yeah, I think they are those. So now I can take this out of the blue side and I've got a number for it. Yay! And I can put them all in here. Okay. Yay, great was the cry. So that is now that one, look. Mm, uh, yeah, I think they're okay. So that one can now go in number 52. Okay. So now we need number 56. So I've got that bag back again. Okay, it is 56, isn't it? Is it 58? No, I think that is 58. So I'm going to have to change that into an 8. Not brilliant, Liz, but anyway. And one so little gem on its own. Let's see if we can find it a few friends in the greens. See where we are. Okay. That's all those bottles to put away. So, 58, 58. Um, I'm not looking there, am I? I'm looking in green. So, again, we want the marquees for the greens. Oh, they're big. I love big gems. They're little. No, they're, they're the same size. Let's put this up here, look, so I can see them. But they're a different colour. And, oops they're bigger so no we've not got that one so put that one away m58 okay right so that is those all now what put away so we've just got these to check out now so 150 i have got a lot of them and i don't believe uh, because we already had that one, then I don't need to check those. 170 we didn't have any of. Uh, then we had 141, right, 106, 141 and 159. So let's have a look, 106. Uh, there's a lot of those, so that will have already been checked. And 141... It's only the ones that I've made the new bags for. No, there was some of those already. And um, then 159. Oh, I've just checked 159, haven't I? Ah, now then 159. So let's have a look in pink. That was a new one that I had to do. So let's see. I think pink is at the front here. Just double check. Oh, no, that's red. So is red. Is it red and then pink? Yeah, pink's there. So we need the large pink rounds let's see if we've got any of these um oh it could be that one it could actually be that one yes it's a good job i went back and checked look yes okay so we now have this one categorized as well okay so i'm going to tip those into that bag right so good job i went back and had a look Otherwise, I would have missed that one. So the ones that already had some, I know they've already been checked. It's just the ones that uh, I made a new bag for. I suppose I could go back and watch my video and see what I did. But anyway, I'll do it this way. Let's do it the more difficult way, Liz. <laughs> so, yeah, we did that one. Uh, we've done 141, 159, 106. I've done those. And then we had... 78 which is the red one over here oof still don't know what to do with that one i'll have to have i think 107 and 154 so 154 while we're in the 150s if 
five two one five four oh is that like greeny color that must have been a new one because it's one on its own so let's have a look in the now then it could be in green or blue i think i'll have put it in blue but we'll double check green as well so let's have a look in large rounds okay so we're looking for like a let's put that up there like a turquoise greeny blue certainly got a lot of different blue ones that's i think possibly the right color but too small that one's too small again but the right color could be that one. Oh, keep that one out oh we've got an odd one there as well we'll have a look at that one's a deeper blue Okay, so let's have a look at these. Right, so yeah, that was that's ever so slightly larger, so it's definitely not that one. So is it this one? Mm, do you know I think they're a slightly deeper colour? This is a slightly deeper colour. Yeah, it's not the same. So it's not that one either. So we haven't got, but we did get the pink ones. So it was worth going back and checking. Okay, well, uh, another bit longer video. <laughs> Uh, I hope uh, you've enjoyed watching this with me and hearing my natter and uh, yeah, my uh, washing machine is ganging up on me. <laughs> do you think that's just my idea of saying I don't want to do any more washing? The amount of bedding and things that I wash, I'm sure there's extra people living in this house that I don't know about. Anyway, if you have enjoyed uh, this little chat and looking at this little system, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions if you can leave them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to uh, see what i get up to next and join our little family then if you press this subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come out so you won't miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now